I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. Today we are at the Confederate Cemetery, Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're going to try to find one of my ancestors, or at least collateral. He would be my great, 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 great uncle. Behind me you will see the cemeteries and the graves of many a brave southern souls. Now these young men died for the south. They didn't die for slavery. They died for their country. It was called the War of Northern Aggression. The Missouri Compromise, Kansas, Missouri, the statehood that compromised the whole anti-slavery, slavery uh, states back in those days. So one, if, if one became a, a anti-state, anti-slavery state, and the other became a slave state, then they were still tied as far as states being equal as far as states' rights. And this was a, also an issue of states' rights. Uh, it was called the War of Northern Aggression. Whenever Lincoln sent his troops down into the South, a lot of Southerners didn't like that fact. Most of the Southerners did not own slaves. Only about 20% of the population owned slaves. A lot of the soldiers didn't even know what they were fighting for. They went and did it. And this was the result. Lincoln said, a house divided cannot stand or will fall. He did it in a bloody ass way to prove it his point. This is in memory of Brigadier General Slack. Uh, he died March 21st, 1862. He died in battle. Over there is a Captain John Tony. Uh, Company B, 3rd Regiment, Shelby's Brigade, Confederate States of America. I cannot find my uncle's tombstone. I don't know if I'm in the right place or not. I thought they said it was a Confederate cemetery. Now these men came from Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and Missouri. It says it right here. These were men whom power could not corrupt, whom death could not terrify, whom defeat could not dishonor. Now, you might think this is a shame, but here's a bigger shame. About nine-tenths of these graves have no names. So there are no names. Nobody knows who's buried here. All they know is it's just Confederate soldiers, mostly from the Battle of Prairie Grove, uh, some from skirmishes in this area, uh, some maybe from other, other, some of them might have been dying from like 
uh, the Pea Ridge, Elkhorn Tavern uh, debacle. Um, several, we don't even know, they, they just found, you know, and brought over here. Uh, so most of these do not have graves, or have no marker. Most of these graves do not have any kind of markers on them other than a plain slab of stone. Uh, there's also been some new ones added, which means there's probably more graves down in here that nobody knows about. Uh, a lot of these were brought from Prairie Grove over here and other areas. So you just don't know. They found them laying out in the field. Did not have any kind of markings, didn't know their names, didn't know anything about them. And here they lie. And so was fighting a war that took close to a million American lives on both sides. Fathers against fathers, brothers against brothers, sons against sons, fathers against sons. This is the answer. Total destruction, death of a president. Total destruction of a, of a nation, a way of life. Jackson Burns signed off from the Confederate Cemetery, Fayetteville, Arkansas.